ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, thank everyone for being here. It, it is quite an honor uh, to see, first of all, all these tables full, because there was some doubt whether I could even get anybody here. So thank you so much for making that happen. But uh, uh, I invited uh, Mr. Bedwell here tonight uh, to share with you some things going on. And, that's, and he has a, a flight that he's going to have to be making very quickly. So I asked him, could he do that first? And we're going to let him uh, take off. And then uh, we'll get on with the program. So if you'll welcome Mr. Bidwell, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be back. It's uh, been a couple of years. The last time I was here, I was making some pretty big news as we, uh, we talked about the new stadium out here that was going to be uh, the thing that changed the Cardinals' future back in 2006 and brought us a Super Bowl right here in Glendale and uh, really got uh, things rolling in terms of putting Glendale on the map and letting the world know uh, what was going on. So, um, excuse me real quick. Can't drop notes. Um, that's bad. Uh, in any case, I, I want to just tell everybody where we are with, with an important economic development project that started last fall. It started last winter, uh, probably around November, December. And it started with uh, Horatio Skeet, our interim city manager here, who had an idea about the possibility of bringing the Arizona Cardinals training camp down the hill and putting it here in the valley. He, he was the one that, that saw that, you know what, we've got a heck of an air-conditioned uh, facility here that we, that's got a football field inside of it, but you know, maybe there's a possibility we could have training camp here. So since that time, um, uh, Vice Mayor Yvonne Kanak and uh, others, Manny Martinez and others on the council, last December authorized him to start a process of, of putting together an RF, a response to the RFP that we had out there and uh, start working uh, with us. And so it started last year with, with the leadership from, from Vice Mayor Kanak, with uh, Councilman Martinez, with the other members of, of um, uh, Councilman uh, Alvarez and others uh, who were, who were um, interested in having more economic development here. Our training camp happens over a three-week period at the end of July and through August. And up in Flagstaff, it's had uh, between a 10 and $12 million economic impact each year. We know that we can, uh, we can do uh, even better down here because it's, it, it, there's the possibility of um, more fans coming out because it's a closer drive, which could be a real positive thing. And we know that because last June, we held a mini camp out at the University of Phoenix Stadium, and we put 15,000 people in there on a weeknight. Uh, it was a pretty amazing thing. And uh, so it's sort of exciting. So we've been working with the new council, with Councilman uh, Hugh, with Councilman uh, Sherwood, and with others is, uh, with the council and with, with uh, the staff and working through some of these issues. We know how important it is to have economic development here. Uh, it would be pretty exciting. We've made some big steps uh, over the last few weeks. We hope to make more steps uh, along the continuum of, of trying to come to an agreement to bring uh, training camp here to Glendale, Arizona, which can be pretty darn exciting. It's at a time when the hotel rooms, not a lot of folks coming out because it's warm here, uh, but it, we're filling hotel rooms and we know that we're going to bring the people out here. We're pretty excited about it. So we hope to make more progress and uh, have more news down the line. We're working with the city staff and with the city council and we know that this group knows how important economic development is. So please give them your encouragement tonight and throughout the coming weeks and we'll, we'll get this thing hopefully over the, the, uh, the goal line in the, in the coming weeks and excited about it. So a couple of things, Mayor. Um, 20 of the 32 teams have their, their, uh, uh, state, uh, their training camps in their home cities. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So the last two that moved their training camp from a, from a remote location to their home city um, were the, the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Giants. Did you know that? <laughs> Those are also the last two teams that won the Super Bowl. So I'm excited about that possibility. We got the, the small ring a few years back right out here a few miles from here we're hoping to get the big ring, ring soon so we're looking forward to working with your mayor and your city council and your city staff to hopefully bring this home so thank you so much for the time and enjoy the evening <laughs>